my kids are assholes. <laughs> That's the only answer I have for you. My kids are fucking cunts. On this channel, we talk a lot about families who probably should have social services involvement and often question whether they should have their kids at all. We talk about the Inghams, the Sullivans and all the other family vloggers who are very, very problematic. However, today we're going to be taking a look at a mother who did in fact have her children removed from the home and we question, should they have been removed in the first place? This is Vic Rose, who is a TikToker with a substantial amount of followers, 417,000, and this is just one of her many, many accounts. And she produces quite wholesome content, such as uh, redeveloping her house and home improvements and things like that. On the face of it, it sounds very, very wholesome, right? Lots of people follow her and think that she's a lovely, lovely lady. However, behind the scenes, possibly not so much as she had her children removed from the home. She said, X, Y and Z, surname, have been ringing too much. It's becoming a pattern. We don't really want to place them with dad. That's the last thing we want. That's the last resort. And then the next day they come out. She was like, she said to me, she went, so you promise you're going to answer your door, you're going to keep the kids off TikTok and you're going to work with us. I said, absolutely, absolutely. She was like, okay, that's fine. Let me go speak to my manager and I'll be in touch tomorrow. So I was like, fine, brilliant. I was seriously like going to Chloe. He's coming home tomorrow. He's coming home tomorrow. And then they come out on Wednesday and went, dad's on his way to pick him up. I, was, I didn't even know what to say, I didn't even know how to react, I genuinely didn't even know how to react. Dad does have parental right, rights for Clayton because he is on the birth certificate, so he has parental rights and he can just use them whenever he likes. It's just insane, it's insane. And then when she come out, she said, we didn't really want to put him with Dad but we feel that's the safest place for him right now. And I'm just like, what? What? And she's like, the emotional trauma, having the kids home. I don't understand what emotional trauma. I, I, I don't, I, I genuinely don't. Like, it, I can't even fathom the thought of it being emotional harm on having my children here, like, well, you see, Vic, it's kind of like this. When you do things like this, you prank your kid and scare the fuck out of him. <laughs> you know, suffers a little bit of trauma. And the um, social services, if they're looking into it, they don't tend to like things such as that, where you scare your kids just for fun you know i'm like I, I, I don't get it I, I don't get it i don't i am the safest place a lot safe when you say you're the safest place for him do you mean this occasion where he nearly electrocuted himself um whilst you just sat on tiktok not funny give me that you're messing about. Get your ass in your room now. It's very lucky. Very was it? It was plugged in, wasn't it? Get your ass in your bedroom now. Oh yes, he did indeed wander about with a pair of scissors and slice through a plugged-in wire whilst she sat on TikTok talking about shit to other people. However, I'm here to show you a leaked document of how her kids were in fact removed and the reasons why. This is from the Wirral Borough Council and it outlines why. Now, I'm assured that this is a legitimate document. Obviously, there's the off chance, so that's just a disclaimer, right? So it says, 
At the time statutory measures were implemented, the child was suffering significant harm, physical harm, emotional harm and neglect and was likely to continue to suffer significant harm, physical harm, emotional harm and neglect and the harm and likelihood of harm is attributable to the care given to him and likely to be given to him if the order were not made not being what it would be reasonable to expect a parent to give him so basically if this order was not made to remove the kids then the child will receive significant harm going forward that is their opinion number one the mother has a significant obsession slash addiction to social media to the extent that she is using the same for approximately 16 hours per day the child is neglected by the mother both in terms of emotional availability but also in relation to feeding clothing and other essential care giving tasks so the first one there states how the mother victoria is neglecting the child and um neglecting their basic needs you sir are a narcissist you have no place on this platform and you have no place with any woman or anyone in that matter and i hope that life goes nothing but downhill for you from here on out and you can go fuck yourself you're so lovely aren't you as you can see from that last clip, she was on a live slating this other guy and whilst she was doing that, she was ignoring her child who was there, right there, trying to get her attention, but she was ignoring him so that she could have a go at this other random bloke on the internet. Now, speaking of ignoring your child, um, this next clip shows that perfectly too. That isn't my social One second. He's screaming. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I what was I gonna do? Not only does she know that the child is screaming in the background, but she acknowledges it and she states that she doesn't give an F that her child is screaming. She's just going to carry on doing what she's going to do. And the next clip, listen very carefully as the screams get louder and louder and louder. Third. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I've double lapsed the recording there. I'm shit at this. I can't do TikTok editing, okay? I film and I post. I'm trying to edit something out and I've ended up just with two. So you're going to have to watch me undo my hair again, okay? Because I've tried to delete that four times and I just don't know why it keeps on repeating itself. So just watch me think that I'm fit all over again. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, shit, baby. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, and then we got in my five pound shower that I've stuck to my extractor. Imagine being a child and you're screaming for your mother and she's just on TikTok recording voiceovers for her TikTok career, right? <laughs> social media right now not to labor the point too much but here's yet another clip of her doing the exact same thing pretty sure you're supposed to wash this off but it took a lot of effort to get in the shower as it is and wash my face so you can get fucked if you think i'm doing that twice in a day you'd be lucky if i do it twice a fucking week <laughs> we just rub it off with a fucking pad and hope for the best ladies and gentlemen we rub away our sins and we start afresh for the week but here we are looking all natural and up next we go straight in with the uh acid um toner not actual acid that last scream went right through me right my blood curdled right then so um i can't imagine what it must have been like being actually in the house at the time when the screaming was going on am i right vic am i right so uh, this next clip was absolutely insane and is even worse somehow all i want all i want from today is to have this house clean like the whole entire house i want to go into the new year which is tomorrow with a lovely clean house wake up and everything's fresh and start my new life and my new goals and all that jazz you know the first of january and we all seem to want to get our life in order but i shit you not can you hear it so yeah there was we thinking that she just didn't hear it or just wasn't going to acknowledge it or was ignoring it but uh, no no she actually knew it was going on and she's gonna tell us all about it now because she doesn't want to deal with said child in the moment of distress this kid 
Do you know how many times I have been up and down these stairs with this child shouting me for silly little reasons? I swear to God. Let's go see what he wants. Let's go see. I bet it'd be stupid. It's going to be stupid. Watch. What do you want? It's not loading. The game's not loading. The game. Yeah. This iPad, I swear to God, they're supposed to. I use these as a method, as a shut up. I use this as a shut up tool, but I swear to God, I'm on this iPad more than this kid is. Doesn't understand how to play Roblox. Do you think I know how to play Roblox? No. You have to learn how to do it yourself. All he does is download games that have a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of adverts. And then he's like, where's the X? Where's the X? Where's the X? How do you play it? Mummy, mummy, mummy. Fucking eat the bloody thing. Yeah, he's three years of age. Spend some time with him, possibly, you know? But don't. Whatever you do, do not be shouting right next to him all the things that he's doing wrong to the camera, right? That's not a good parenting tool. I'm certain of it. Now, we're going to turn our attention away from the... the less than obvious ignoring the child technique that she has going on and we're going to see how long it takes her to realize what her child is up to when she's just faffing about window one window two <laughs> first carpet Hi there. second carpet Hmm. You smile at me. So you got to wonder just how long you were leaving your two or three year old alone for all that to actually happen to him, right? You just got to wonder, I mean, how long was he alone for? Because that would have taken quite some time. And where the hell were you? Because it was over a period of several rooms. And then to cap it all off, Filming your child naked, yeah, it's just not a good look, right? I know, yes, he was wearing nappies, but no, it's still the same thing, so just don't do it. But, um, if you thought that she wasn't self-aware, <laughs> she certainly is. Basically, what it was, was I wasn't watching them, like, before you come for me, where was she at? I was probably smoking a joint, I'm not even gonna lie to <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. This is actually a separate incident, by the way, um, but she openly admits that she may well have been smoking a joint whilst not watching her kids. She doesn't know what it was she was doing, but that's a possibility, isn't it? All I know is they put every single toy in the fucking sink and they turned the taps on full blast, the sink overflowed and the water obviously come pissing through my fucking ceiling and that's how we resorted in having a whole goddamn pond in my kitchen so in case you were wondering that's don't forget this child is like three years of age and his older brother is like eight or something like that right so it just begs the question why are they both being left alone particularly the three-year-old in order to fill up an entire sink and let it overflow right it's just feels like a little bit of neglect possibly just just possibly but the next clip shows that um she's just ignoring her kids while she's on social media all a day do that do you know what i mean fucking hell i'm not gonna message and go no you're not allowed to meet him i come across fucking Dead fucking controlling then. That's not me. Can you go in your bedroom just for a minute, please? Just for a minute, please. Clayton's going to bed in a minute, okay? I don't... This is my bedroom. You've got your own. He's been in there ages, Vic. That's what he said. I've been in there ages. He's been waiting in his room ages. He's been waiting for you for ages. He wants to come and talk to his mum. But no, she is on social media talking to random strangers. And that is obviously more important. Never mind, day. Eh? But um, this next one is very sad because she is not only filming her child, but she's obviously neglected him to the point where he's wet himself. And um, she, instead of going to change him, he, well, she takes a picture, puts it on social media. Oh, I think, I think. Why are we crying? I've got some important unpackaging to do. 
Please be quiet! Important unpackaging to do, child. Yes, that's right. Do be quiet. Don't call mummy. I don't want to know because I've got to unpackage this on video for my fans to see. It's more important. It's so important that it's it's unpackaging. It's it's that, that's all I can say about it. I'm sorry. It's unpackaging. It's not. Oh, fuck no. I tried. I tried to do one for 2022. What happened? Um, I, tried, I wanted to brush my teeth more, but I didn't. <laughs> And this is her eldest, and he apparently is not brushing his teeth because, uh, you know, it's not like it's his mother's job to try and uh, make sure that he does that or anything like that. So when she eventually tries to spend time with this child, she just gets it miserably wrong again. Fun, and I feel like we don't bond anymore. But hey, this kid is shit at football, you know. <laughs> that was a waste of a five of that, you know. Oh, there's nothing like building your child up, you know? Just whilst he's stood right there, just have a go at him, say how amazingly shit he is, you know? It won't affect him at all. So Joshua's decided. No, 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 Josh, Josh getting his ear pierced. No! Gay. And we talk a lot about consent on this channel, right? So when your child says, no, mum, don't tell them what I just said. Don't tell them. And then you go ahead and tell them anyway, even though he doesn't want you to. That is what we talk about consent, right? And not only that, but you sought to embarrass him by calling him gay, right? Um, all we take is a phone oh, and my child. I'll stop talking when I finish the video. But there yeah, child, mummy is making a video here. It's a very important video, and you need to stop telling me what to do, right? I will stop talking when I finish the video. Plain and simple. Ignore that. And then we've got a portion of chips, because uh, Clay's still awake at 11 o'clock at night. Um, so we're going to give Clay some chips, because I've not really fed him today. I've just been busy. Don't judge me. <laughs> He's been living off snacks. He has been fed, just not... Properly. Well, I'm not convinced that a portion of chips is um, properly feeding your child either, but 11 o'clock at night and you haven't fed him all day. And you know, this is what I'm talking about with like neglect and, and basic needs and stuff like that. Clayton, you want to put some pants on? No! You want to put some pants on? No! You want to do it? No! want to put some pants on? Well, there's so many things to say about this particular clip. Um, filming your child seeking to embarrass him because he's not got any pants on, right? That's a no-no. First up, rule number one as a parent. Do not film your child when they are naked, half naked, any kind of naked, right? Just don't do it. Not on the cards, right? So... Then uh, filming him whilst he's embarrassed or whilst he's crying. You know, that is what they talk about when they're talking about emotional neglect, right? Right, I'm going to be very open and honest as to the reason why I eat my food on the kitchen floor. I eat every single meal that I have on my kitchen floor. And the reason being is, <clears throat> sorry, the reason being is I do not like my children. <laughs> When it comes to eating food, I do not like being around the little sprogs because they seem to like to touch and poke and prod and breathe. And it, what's this? What's that? Can I have some, mummy? What's that? No, I need to eat my food in peace. I need to sit down and eat it without being unbothered because for some reason, when I sit in my kitchen, my children don't want anything. The second I lift my arse up and go sit on the goddamn sofa, it's mom, mom, juice, I want food, mom, mom, mom. And then my food is freezing cold by the time it comes to eating it. And I can't deal, I can't deal with them. So I spend 70% of my time hiding in the kitchen because there's a stair gate and none of the fuckers can come near me. And that's just the way I like it, to be quite honest. I like to be left alone in fucking peace where no one can bother me and eat my food germ-free so that's the reason why <laughs> well 
Well, it seems like you've got your wish to be away from the little effers, right? <laughs> Am I right? So, number two on the list of things that were wrong from her um, perspective was the mother fails to ensure the child attends nursery or school on a consistent basis. The kids are in the fucking cupboard. I haven't sent the kids to school. Are you mad? I think I'm, do I look like the type of mum? Thank you for the donut that gets up early in the fucking morning. I get my kids ready and take them to fucking school. Do I fuck? I bet you cry yourself to sleep. I do when I don't get a joint. If you would like to send me money to my PayPal so I could my put my it? other son in school so then I don't have to give either of them attention, that'd be great because that's actually where I want to be in life. I don't want to give either of them attention. Mom. I don't want to give one more Mommy. than the other. I don't want to give either of them attention. <laughs> Neither of them. <laughs> so come on, guys. Send uh, the poor lover, Tanner, and uh, she can send her other kids to school, right? Her other kids to school because she doesn't want to give her child attention. Isn't that lovely? Lovely it is. Number three. The mother does not like the child, stating as much to the child whilst videoing the same. Whilst the kids keep themselves busy and leave me alone, off your pop children. He can wet and he's muddy and looks like an absolute shit show. So don't judge me. My kid's just an arsehole. Thanks. Do you like it? Yeah? Kid's not answering me. Fantastic. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss as usual. I said yes. You know, why do we do anything for our children? Wonderful. Don't Honestly, he was scarred for life the second that he was fucking born with a mother like me anyway, to be quite frank. Let's face it. Maybe I'm scarred for having a child like that. Maybe he should do better. Maybe if he was cuter and more loving and more affectionate, I'd love him more. That's on him, and it? He should do better. Wondering, basically, my kids are assholes. <laughs> That's the only answer I have for you. My kids are fucking cunts. So I don't feel like any of those clips needed any form of context because calling your, your children any of those words is just wholly inappropriate and just bad, right? As is this, by the way. I had to get a mortgage to get a fucking ice cream and then ha ha, bye, off to your dad you go, tra. Then off to nursery you go, ha ha, tra, see you later, ha ha. Sticking your finger up at your kid. Yeah, just a no. Absolutely no. Under any circumstances, under no context whatsoever, or no um, whatever the hell that was supposed to be, just a no. Because even if you didn't mean it, even if you thought it was just for the cameras and it was just as a joke or whatever the freaking hell that was supposed to be, your children still will internalize these things, right? They are still there. They don't know that it's a joke, even if it is a joke, right? They are still going to be emotionally scarred by it. Number four, the mother locks the child in a cupboard as a means of punishment and humiliation and to scare him. The kids are in the fucking cupboard. I haven't sent the kids to school. Are you mad? Number five, the mother physically hits the child, leaving the child to feel scared. Oh, they're sharp. Clayton! Yeah. Just gonna knock this kid out, you know. I just want to get me shit and go. Yes, I know, that was just a threat. That wasn't physically hitting them. Which parent hasn't threatened to knock their child out in jest? Am I right? But have you all done this too? God, I'll smack your ass, Clay. I don't care. Look at that bun. <laughs> You're a bun from sideways. Bro, scream and call me all you want. I will smack me kid back, you know. I don't care. <laughs> you, you scrap with me like you're a full-grown man. I, I don't care for your love views and your little manipulation and your soft little tone My voice and your puppy dog eyes complains because he is trying to manipulate her into feeling sorry for him or whatever right that's just lovely isn't it but um she hasn't always been this way the child hasn't always been that way because um he's never always had this manipulative um, puppy dog look in his eyes according to vic soon as he was born and he their eyes basically said i'm gonna t i'm gonna fucking destroy your life Yes, he fucking does! Sorry, that was so loud. He knows what he's doing. Okay, if he's three, he knows what he's doing. Okay, 
Because since he was born, he has known. Do you know what I mean? He gave me them eyes as soon as he was born, and he them eyes basically said, "I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna fucking destroy your life." So in February of 2023, Vic had her kids removed and they went to live with their dads, right? So uh, what was she to do? Because she needed her children. She loved her children. She was desperate to have her children back. But what could she do? She only earned a paltry, like, amount off TikTok, you know? And uh, so they set up, I say they, friends, her, whoever, set up a GoFundMe which to date has £5,359 raised off the £3,000 target and um, going well, going well. Does it very well? He got me to the top of the leaderboard. That kid got fucking three lightings in the universe. Roll on when he's back from his dad's tomorrow because I'm going to get the begging train back on. Just call me a Syrian because I know how to beg with my kid, and it? Wow, how incredibly racist of you. Yes, um, apparently she needed her child back at that particular point because she wanted to um, raise more money. You know, she, her child was a good beggar, right? She could plonk him down on social media and make a dime. Am I right, Vic? Am I right? It's classic, classic. Anyway, the um, yeah, the GoFundMe it was going really well. Um, they made over five thousand pounds, and then um, then what happened? It, uh, um, did she get hold of that money ever? That's the question that everybody wants to know. Well, I'm here to give you an affirmative on this particular one because I contacted GoFundMe and asked them, and do you know what they said? Thanks for reaching out to the GoFundMe customer care team. My name is Celine and I'd be happy to help here. Upon check-in, I can confirm donations have already been transferred to the beneficiary of the fundraiser. If you believe this fundraiser is fraudulent, please follow these steps. And you can see the link there is actually to their fundraiser there. So it is right, right? So yeah, the, um, the funds have gone out to her account just to clarify anybody who, to anybody who may be wondering whether or not she actually got her hands on the funds in the end. Now, people were commenting about this fundraiser. Um, somebody said, what did people donate the money for? And Vic <laughs> jokingly said, chips and milkshakes. Oh, it's so such a good laugh isn't it Vic isn't it and somebody says good on you Vic go have a holiday with it too girl (laughs) oh yes I'm not sure it's entirely up to that one particular person to decide what everybody's money goes on anyway (laughs) it just so happened that three months later she did in fact go on holiday she ended up in uh, in Africa (laughs) yeah she did 7th of July, she arrived in um, on her holiday. <laughs> Is it, was it Africa? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that was like just a few months after the GoFundMe was started, ironically, wasn't it? I wonder how she got her hands on so much money in such a quick space of time in order to end up in such an extravagant ho- holiday destination i mean even if it was her own money that she was spending why was she spending it on that rather than not the um get my kids back fund it raises more questions than it answers there vic i'm sorry i'm not suggesting that you did anything untoward with it but it just raises questions that's all so so does things like this that happen whilst you were um supposedly grieving for the loss of your children at that particular time But let's not forget just why she had her children taken off her in the first place, right? So there's instances like this where she is waving the uh, saw around whilst her her kid is um, running about and, and everything. And aside from all that, there is the ongoing dispute that she has with a certain number of many 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 people such as her good neighbor i think this is a neighbor that she's referring to here next door to me has punched my face in in a school playground has harassed me online posted all sorts of videos i haven't retaliated in any way i haven't done nothing apart from press charges and now she's got my kids 
so that neighbor did in fact respond and they said it all started because her son had social come out after telling the school things he confided in me after she called him a c-u-n-t and i stuck up for him and she smashed her house up and stopped me seeing the kids blames me for social even though they were involved in the first place so basically what happened according to this is that the child told school what happened right the child told school things that were going on at home by the sounds of it social services got involved in that way and it was really not all this conspiracy to do with whether or not uh, the um, the trolls online had edited clips together as seems to be the the going situate the you know the what they reckon was the case now vic has since been just posting lots of different videos you know all her regular stuff very wholesome content again doing all her home diy doing up her house and everything like that but um, despite everybody who cannot wait to see her with her boys again, uh, <laughs> it seems to be all just one big act, as she says. So somebody apparently DM'd her and said, just let out the big laugh, biggest laugh ever. You have no love to give. You couldn't give your kids any love and look where they are now. And Vic replied to them, I know, I know, but I have to keep up with my social media. Good girl appearance, don't I? So suggesting that um, all everything that she's putting on the line at the moment is just to um, keep up appearances and uh, until she gets her kids back now i also know although i don't have a screenshot of it i do know for a fact that somebody else has also had a similar reply to this so uh, you know it seems like she is not um trying her hardest uh, in order to get her kids back she's just pretending in order to get her kids back so there we have it. Uh, Vic is currently having a court case right now. Um, this month, it is the month of the court case in order to get her kids back. I don't know what the situation is. It's been over a year now since her kids were taken off her. Whether or not she'll get them back, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below whether you think that she should I mean, maybe she has in fact turned over a new leaf. Maybe she is an amazing mother now. But she's going to have to turn it around a very lot, in my opinion. She needs to cut out all the, you know, um, calling her kids C-U-N-T's or A-holes and stuff like that. You know, that sort of thing. I, I feel like that is, is a given, right? So please let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want more of these videos. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Take care of yourselves.